welcome. I'm Sylvia from My Kitchen Creations. If you're new here, welcome. If not, welcome back. On today's episode, we are making Korean meatballs. This recipe is super easy to make. Just 30 minutes of your time and you will have the perfect appetizer or you can serve them over steamed rice. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. First, we're going to line up our cookie sheet with some tin foil. Just like so, go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees because we will be baking our meatballs. Add your ground beef into a large bowl. Crack your eggs. Add your minced garlic. Add your soy sauce. Ginger. Pinko crumbs. Add your green onions. Add your gochujang. Now mix until everything is well combined. Season with some salt. And continue mixing. This is how it's looking after combining all the ingredients. Now grab your cookie sheet, grab your ice cream scoop and scoop some of that meat mixture and just roll it into a ball. Here are my meatballs, so now I'm going to place them in the oven in the middle rack for about 10 to 15 minutes. While our meatballs are cooking, we're going to make a glaze to go over our meatballs. Add some pure sesame oil to a bowl. Add some ginger. Add your gochujang. Add your water soy sauce and your sugar give that a mix and make sure that the brown sugar is fully dissolved season with some garlic powder after adding in your garlic go ahead and stick this in the microwave for one minute after one minute, this is how our sauce is looking and it is ready for our meatballs. After 15 minutes, this is how my meatballs are looking. They look great. Go ahead and place them into your sauce. This is how they're looking after adding them to the sauce and this should take us to the end of our recipe. Hello guys, so my Korean meatballs are ready. Take a look. Doesn't this look amazing? I'm going to serve this with some steamed rice. Go ahead and give this recipe a try and come back and let me know how you enjoy it. Thank you so much for cooking with me today and I'll catch you guys later.